thank you, Mr. Hatcher, for a lot of different things. Thanks for those kind introductory remarks today. You've also taught me several things. I must admit, it's the first time I've ever been at a groundbreaking in which Bob Marley was quoted. Um, I also have to admit that over my many years of public service, I've often gone to events and tried to figure out how to keep the politicians from talking so daggum long. And you've showed me today how to do that. You see, you put the crowd in the shade and the dumb politicians in the sun, and they won't talk as long. Smart guy, smart guy. No, what a privilege it is for me to be here uh, for a lot of different reasons. Um, Michael's been a friend of mine for a long time, but I'm proud of Michael for a lot of different reasons. Um, one of which is the fact that, as many of you know, I'm sure, Michael's a as a young man grew up in Lincoln County, Mississippi, a little small community called Brookhaven. The only reason that's relevant or important to any of you is because my mom and my dad both grew up in small communities in Lincoln County, Mississippi. And so when I think about the things that have the values that, that Michael learned growing up, it's the very same values that my mom and dad were taught uh, by two of my grandmothers who are still living in Lincoln County, Mississippi. And it, the values that they were taught uh, to not only to work hard, which Michael learned as a 14 year old when he first started in this business, in a business similar to this, in this industry, uh, the values of loving your neighbor and being willing to help your neighbor. I don't know anyone that exemplifies that more than Michael Hatcher and his family. The values of going and getting an education. Everybody here knows that Michael Hatcher loves Mississippi State University, loves the education he got, and knows that without that education, he would not have been as successful as he is today. So it's really a privilege for me to be here today as his friend, but also having the opportunity to serve as our great state's lieutenant governor. Many of you heard me talk at the economic development luncheon yesterday. Many of you heard me say that what we're trying to do is to create that environment which encourages capital investment in our state. You see, we believe that government does not create jobs. Government's role is to create an environment which encourages those of you in the private sector, those of you like the Hatcher family, to invest capital and create jobs. And what today says to me, more than anything else, is that we are creating that environment here in DeSoto County, Mississippi. We are encouraging and incentivizing and, and allowing for literally millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars of capital being invested in our state, which leading to jobs in our state. 104 jobs created here in this facility, which we all know is going to grow and grow and grow for years into the future. That's good for the Hatcher family and the owners of this facility but it's also good for all of our constituents, all of our DeSoto County residents, all Mississippians who have an opportunity to be gainfully employed, to provide for their family. And so as I think about today and what it represents, I must close by saying to Michael and, and everyone here, I know your tenure and your company across the state line was a good one, but welcome home. <laughs> welcome back to Mississippi, and thank you for your investment.